Before we hear from Loris, I'd like to invite to the podium his friend and composer, Mr. Edwin Manukian. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to have been asked to speak about my friend today. And I know that he needs no introduction. For that purpose, I will just say a few things about his contribution to the Armenian culture. All the Armenian composers, almost all of them, um, stem from the uh, Aram Kachaturian tradition of composing, which has its roots in uh, pre-Soviet Russia, the time of Remsky, Korsakov, Tchaikovsky, etc. But uh, Maestro Jaknavorian holds a special place in that he has found his inspiration in the uh, realm of Armenian <coughs> sacred music. Now, Armenia being a secular country, uh, ad admirable as it is, um, yeah, it is no reason to turn back to sacred music, which has passed on a lot of um, poorly appreciated wealth of Armenian culture from centuries before uh, Armenia even uh, ever developed to be a country that could support culture with universities and uh, scholarship. So we're grateful for that, and in this respect, he holds a special place in the history of Armenian music. Um, a couple of years ago, I remember speaking to him over the phone while he was in Austria, and I said, if he wants to continue contributing to Armenian culture, as vigorously as he has been, he needs to either live in Armenia, in Yerevan, or in Los Angeles. So you can imagine how pleased I was when I heard that he was here. He gave me a call, unexpectedly said he's in Glendale and he plans to live here. So uh, I think all of us will benefit greatly to have a man of his caliber to uh, live in our community and enrich it. Why don't we hear now from the man himself Maestro Loris Chiknavoyan. Hello, thank you, Nick and Edward, for your kind words. I wish you a good boy of Chiwaka. I rather speak Armenian, I rather speak Armenian. Do you want to speak Armenian or prefer English? because my English is not that hot shot. Anyway, but uh, I'm glad that pretty soon the entire world will speak in Armenian. And I just heard recently that the Chinese government has passed a resolution that Chinese have to learn all Armenian. So, yeah. So, so they sent a letter to Serge Sarkisian asking six million Armenian teachers to come to China. <laughs> to start the show. Anyway, such is life. Uh, I see Father here sitting, I remember, I don't know why I'm here, really, I don't know, I have not prepared to, to, what to say. Uh, I remember the, a clergy came to, to give a first predic, you know, first sermon to the, in the church, and asked, and he didn't know really what to say, like me. And he asked, you know what I want to say? He said, no, we don't know. So he left. He said, we don't know what I want to say, so why don't I me? Why should I bother saying it? The next uh, Sunday, he said, do you want to what? you want to what I'm going to say? I said, everyone says yes. He said, but you know, there's, there's no point for me to stand here and say anything. The next time, the next th th uh, Sunday, he said, do you know what I want to say? Well, it's, it's, uh, half, of this, after of, half of them, they said yes, and half of them, they said no. He said, okay, that's wonderful. Th those who know should tell the others who don't know. <laughs> So, I see Greg and Edward know about me more than I know. So please exchange these ideas to people. So let me have a nice cookies over there, eat the cookies. But it's always difficult to speak about myself or the music. 
Ah, uh, I would say I have not prepared anything. I'm just improvise always in my life. I can improvise music. When I was a child born in, in Iran, my mother escaped the, the genocide, my father escaped the Russian occupation of Armenia, and uh, so I was born in, as an immigrant, a child from an immigrant family in Iran. So in our house, we only spoke Armenian, not other language than Armenian. And my father was planning even to stay in, in Iran for a long time. Every day was reading the newspaper to see when is Stalin going to die, so he will go back again. So the Stalin never died, he stayed there. Uh, I mean, eventually died. In the meantime, I start, I learned, uh, went to the Armenian church, like in the Ar Armenian community, so I fell in love. As a matter of fact, for a while I was going there, I want to become a priest myself as a kid. And then I found that I love the woman too much, that I cannot be a priest. Uh, <laughs> So I left, I left that, so to others. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather to speak today about women than music, in a way, you know. Who bothers about music, you know? Music is part of human life, you know. Without love, there is no music, anyway. Music is important. Anyway, Komitas was one very important. Two comp composers in my life were really, really very important. Komitas and Kachaturi, very important. And uh, in those days, you had a, a record player, the size of a winded and with the changing needles every time, you know, you hear every record would last five minutes or six minutes. And I had Cacciatori and Violin Concerto, like, was it 10 kilograms, you know, the, all this, on the every time changing and comitas. So I was really brought up with this Cacciatori and Violin Concerto and, and comitas songs. And that influenced my entire, entire life. Of course, my father would brainwash us every day, from morning till evening, Armenian history, Armenian culture, because he, while we're preparing ourselves to go back again to Armenia, which we never got. I went, unfortunately, I went to Armenia, but well, not the fortunate time, was right after the earthquake, earthquake, I went to Armenia. But anyway, through my childhood, I fell in love to Armenian church music, and and Armenian, uh, my secular symphonic music. So the Armenians don't go to church. They don't care for the church music. They don't even know what church music is all about. And uh, we all go to folk music, and we, we dance and sing folk music. And folk music is very interesting. Nothing, you cannot, I mean, most of the Armenian church music is also based on folk music. What is this folk music? Folk music is created in the villages, created in different parts of the uh, town because of a wedding, because of the funeral, because of someone is born. You know, people create the melody. The greatest composers are people, not really Beethoven or Tchaikovsky and everything. Because even Beethoven, you want to write his masterpieces like da da di 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 da da da, has taken from folk music. All those great works in the world, Tchaikovsky symphonies, they're all taken from the folk music. This is the most important part. So Armenians have this folk music. But the most important, again, I said, the chants. So I collected in throughout 10 years these all the chants and created 1978 in London the first international Armenian music, music and musicology uh, conference, which took two weeks. And from all over the world, people came to compare the chants, the Catholics, the Assyrian church, the Coptic church, Persians, Arabic music to compare their chants with Armenian, their music with Armenian music. So I had all these collections. So that's combination, because I tell you, in my entire life, until I'm now, today, I'm 73 years old, I make it so far anyway. Uh, uh, wasted most of my time, anyway. Uh, but my feeling is I'm always an immigrant. I can never be different than an immigrant. My entire life, I grew up as an immigrant and I will die as an immigrant. No matter how many passports they put me in my pocket, how many cultures I will go, how many people I meet in this world I met, because I was born as an immigrant. And my music is always based on the feelings of immigrant. Not only Armenian chants are very important for me, also the immigrant songs touched my heart.
I remember people from victims of massacre and from jails, escaped the Russian jails, the immigrants, what a terrible the life, life they had in Iran when they arrived. So that my music is that. Seventh track, please. It's a combination of folk music and immigrant song. my composition. I have lots of secular music composed on Armenian chants, a requiem based on all Armenian church music. And later on, 10 years ago, many years ago, I tried to write a trilogy for the 100th anniversary of Armenian massacre. Way back 30 years ago, I started. 